and, and basically, even as an investigative journalist who has written for some of the top publications in the United States and around the world for almost a quarter century, this was a real eye-opener for me to realize that these, these abstractions we read about by, you know, the, the Howard Zinns and the Noam Chomskys and the, you know, uh, so on and so forth, that they're not really abstractions. These are actually literally true that, that our democracy is much, much more fragile than we know. And a tremendous effort goes into, can, first of all, distracting us. Uh, and it's evidenced by the fact that we've had trouble getting publicity for Family of Secrets. There's huge numbers of people rushing to buy, uh, uh, you know, uh, well, you know, the whole range of uh, amusing books. Uh, but people are, are, don't know about this. And so we've been relying very much on word of mouth to get, to get it out there. But clearly, they had all these things, something called the Psychological Strategy Board, where people from Big Tobacco, people from the CIA, and so on, they all sat together and they talked about how do you influence and shape public perceptions. And they weren't just doing this in the Soviet bloc, they were doing it right here. And they're doing it today. And, you know, it makes perfect sense because if there are only very few of you and you've got the, the whole deck stacked in your favor, and it's stacked in your favor because you don't have to bid for contracts on a normal basis or outperform other people, the only way you're going to stay on top is to keep gaming the system. And the best way to game the system is to control the people at the top. And who's the person at the top? It's the President of the United States. So we need to start looking at how people become president. Who are these people? Who is Barack Obama? I have to say there are all these books out about him. I don't think they explain who he really is. Uh, I'm not saying he's not a good guy. He may very well be a good guy, but we need to do a much better job of vetting our leaders. We also need to know much more about what goes on behind the scenes. How did BP get that particular contract? Why was the Minerals Management Service so lenient with the oil companies? We don't, we don't get answers on any of these things. And so, uh, in, in kind of wrapping up here, I just want to say, uh, I was so frustrated with this, with the state of affairs, with our being completely in the dark. I feel it's like the, you know, the allegory of the cave, uh, this notion uh, uh, where, you know, you're in a cave and, and you spend your whole life in the cave, you've never seen the outside, and when people go by outside, all you see the shadows on the wall, and you think those shadows, that that's the reality. That's what we think. We all live in the cave, but uh, that's not the reality. The reality is outside, and I'm trying to, with other people, uh, bring the reality to the people inside. And so we've started a nonprofit investigative reporting outfit. It's called Who, What, Why, Dot com, who, what, why, dot com. Uh, it's going to be entirely on uh, donations, whatever you and other people can afford from the public. We're not going to take money from corporations. Uh, and we're going to build a staff and we're going to do stories about everything. And we're open to everything. Um, and uh, uh, we think that this is needed and we hope that this sets an example and that this, uh, this hunger for the truth grows uh, and that we basically, uh, you know, restore our democracy and start dealing with the real problems in the world while there is time to do so. So I invite you all to join us. Uh, it's very much a collaborative effort. We've got lots of people volunteering, doing camera work and uh, uh, website design and photography and editing. If you've got a talent, uh, you want to help us, contact us. Also, if you uh, want to uh, just let people know, I, I like to tell people, if you feel that this is depressing, it's not really depressing, it's depressing to not know what's going on and to hide from it, to find out what's really going on and then begin spreading the word. That's the key thing. And so I would urge you, tell other people about Family of Secrets, tell them about the website. Um, five minutes a day, you can be a uh, pajama jockey. You know, you just sit at your computer for five minutes a day. My mother, who's here, she does that. Uh, you, just, uh, you just get on the internet and you read things and you forward them to people. And it's a wonderful force multiplier. Thanks to the internet, things really are changing. And in, unless and until they manage to shut it down, uh, we could really have an opportunity to create some change for the good. Thank you very much.